Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'ala, Kuhulimla, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rekha HaKadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yahshanan Awaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, Wanted to touch on this earthquake because this is, um, you know, a part of the end days prophecies that Yahweh Shai spoke of. It's in a um, few different areas of the scriptures and it's a part of end days prophecies. So we have to report on these things to go along with the MOTB, the market of beauty and the beast. Um, famine of the word, of course, as you can see with this um, anti-Semitism bill. Uh, the wars, rumors of wars. You know, all these things are coming to pass. Uh, the uproars of the people, a lot of things are happening. So it's an indicator that we are in the last days and it's high time to wake out of sleep and to repent. So let's get off into a little bit of this article. Earthquake interrupts Angels and Phillies game at Angel Stadium. <laughs> now, mind you, you know, it, it is Angel Stadium, right? <laughs> you know, you got to got to look into things and, and see the symbolism in it. Anyway. Says, okay, um, let's just get to the point. During the middle of the Angels' third game against Philadelphia Phillies on Wednesday afternoon, an earthquake rattled the, the Angels Stadium. Fans in attendance at the game could feel the tremors from Quake, uh, a 4.1 magnitude centered between Corona and Anaheim. Okay, so you know we just had one, what, about a month ago in New York? Same, about the same size. I think it was a 4.8 or 5.5 or something to that extent. But these are things that are happening, you know, in areas that they just normally don't happen, you know. So it says this is already the second time Mother Nature has interrupted an MLB game this week. And we know it's not Mother Nature. We know that it's the father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you know. So all that Mother Nature bullshit, that's all Esau. And and because he doesn't want to want to admit that there is an actual power, that there is an actual God and that his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. In the Paleo Hebrew, in the true name of his son, our King, our Lord, and our Savior, his name is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. And it's not some white guy named Jesus. There's no letter J in Hebrew, no letter E, no letter O, no letter U, no letter V. And the letter J was invented in 1524, of course, 500 years ago. So we know that the Lord's name is not Jesus. You know, just a little bit of research, and you can see that his name is Yahweh Shai, and that the Father's name is Yahweh. But, um, but, okay, so this is the second one. Okay. Uh, a bee swarm caused a delay. Okay. Damn. A bee, sw a bee swarm caused a delay in Tuesday's game between the Arizona um, Diamondbacks and the Los Angeles Dodgers. So, hey, we know that the Lord, he deals with um, all manner of nature, man. From, um, you know, we know that all the, you know, with some of the plagues that destroyed um, Egypt, you know what I'm saying, had to do with flies, you know, had to do with lice, um, thunderbolts, uh, you know, uh, hail. The Lord will use any of the elements that he chooses to punish and to um, judge, man. So the Lord is in control of those things. You know, swarm of bees running your ass off, you know. Okay, so this person says, so wait, the Dodgers have a minor league team called the Quakes. But they got bees. <laughs> and the Angels have a minor league team called the Bees, but they got quakes. Whoa. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. The Lord got a sense of humor, too. Uh, this person says, I think I felt an earthquake at Angel Stadium. Uh, this person says, Patrick Sandoval is at 63 pitches through two innings. The Phillies took a 2-0 lead on a Zach. Okay, all right. This is okay. The Angels of the, the Angels offense did not, I repeat, did not cause the, the earthquake. Ah, some bullshit. Anyway, they got a um small map of it. it says two small earthquakes today. A M25 and an M28 about 20 miles from my place today didn't feel either of them lame, but I am watching this little situation just in case. Now, um it was just one just uh 
on the border of Ohio, not too far from where I'm at right now, um, about a week or so ago. So these things are happening, man. This person says, I got the my shake app warning. Just as the mild shaking got started here at Angel Stadium, didn't feel it right away as I was distracted by the two-run single we gave, okay? That earthquake was just in the entire Angels bullpen getting up and start throwing after Sandoval won't make make it through the fourth inning of oh, these Bullshit. This person says four plus earthquakes, 20, 20 some miles from Angel Stadium. Insert something about baseball being hit hard. Okay, yeah, right. But you get the point, man. Um, the earthquake did not delay the game, of course, because um, uh, because E gonna keep on with with the with the bread and circus. They don't take the Lord serious. You know what I'm saying? They don't, you know, see things like that to be serious enough to, you know, stop their their bullshit, man. But it's gonna come a point where they're gonna they're gonna know for a fact that it's yeah. How about Shimia was shot shaking up the place? But let's just grab the scriptures. Just Esau always with that mother nature. This mother nature that bullshit. No damn mother nature. But they'll do it. They'll say anything, you know, to, to keep from giving you how about Shimmy I was shy all the praise and honor and glory. But you know, it's gonna come a point, man, where hey, this shit is about to be a wrap, and they're gonna know. Okay, so this is Matthew 24. It started at verse 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? And the end of the world, right? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah or Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars. And rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes, in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So all these things that he just mentioned are playing out. They're already happening, right? So now let's go into the Apocrypha real quick. Slakia. Wasn't trying to do that, Slakia. Yeah. Let's go to Second Edris, chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Because see, we're supposed to measure the times. And how we measure the times, we measure it up with the scriptures. We see that these earthquakes in diverse places are happening. We know that the Lord spoke on it, and we know that he, he said that, hey, before my coming, these types of things are going to be happening. Now, have there always been earthquakes? Yeah, there's been earthquakes. But the way all these other prophecies are lining up and coming together, we know that we are in the end days, man. You can't get around it, you know. Verse 2, it says, then shall, you, then shall thou understand that it, is, that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, see, and uproars of the people in the world, what do you see? You got the earthquakes that's going on, uproars of the people, even with these college campuses, with this um, pro-Israel, um, Palestine shit, anti-Israel, or whatever you want to call it, you know, it's uproars of the people all over the world, though. all these, um, you know, different nations of people are coming up against their governments because they're not being treated right, man. You got a few of these, you know, um, elitists. These Edomites that's running the world and everybody else is being treated like shit and the people are starting to respond. Okay, but it says, um, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So we know that the Lord is starting to, you know, visit the place, visit this place, man, just by what we're starting to see. So... And things are going to get a lot more rougher, man, you know, out here. Because these are, it, you notice it says, these are the beginning of sorrows. It's just the beginning. It hasn't, you know, rolled over off into the real, real chaos that's about to hit this place, man. But let's go to, um, we can just end out here. I don't want to keep this long. I just wanted to report on the uh, earthquakes and just give an update, you know what I'm saying? Because we're, you know, we're to watch and pray. And to also warn the flock. So this is why we do these lessons. 
you know, and um, hey, y'all can pass it on along, man, you know, let people know, <laughs> you know, you don't have to necessarily share the video, but you know, you can, hey, if you, if you want, you can, but you can, um, you know, just let your people know, hey, look, man, this is earthquake, because, you know, you don't be hearing about a lot of this stuff unless you are watching, that's the reason why the Lord told us to watch and pray, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know, that's how we know how much time we have, you know, so to speak, we don't know down to the millisecond or the minute or day that the Lord is going to come, of course, but we do have um you know um i'm an indicator as far as like you know he gave us a blueprint as to what will be going on man so i did want to get that uh let me see though let me go back into the blue letter what is that matthew i think i want to say is that matthew 2 and 6 maybe not i might be wrong on that but let me check something real quick Let me just type this in. I think it's in Matthew somewhere, though. Bear with me here. We uh, Let's see. Oh, was it? Yeah, this is it. It was Matthew 16. I always keep forgetting that scripture. Um, but it, it goes off in two. Let me start at verse one. The Matthew 16 and 1. The Pharisees, also with the Sadducees, came and tempting, desiring him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning it shall be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but cannot discern the signs of the times. See? You have to, you know, we have to go off into these signs, man. We have to go off into what the Lord said. That's how you see what time period we're in, man. The Lord is is, is soon to come. It's only a few things to happen that's left. You know, this MOTB again, which they already working that out. It's too many um, articles. We already seeing people already, you know, chipped up and making payments, you know, um, in, in, in certain videos. You can go online right now and, and pull up plenty of videos of people actually already have the, the chip implant with their information on it where they can go into a, an establishment and make a payment and, and and swipe their damn hand like you know it's a um a, a you know a debit card with a chip in it so that's happening already you know so i mean hey man things are getting closer we are you know in the, in the the wars the rumors of wars ought to tell you enough you know you're not this thing is not going to stop you know all that's going to all these wars and rumors of wars are just going to escalate more you know so, and of course, Israel, the least of the flock, is going to draw all these nations into to, to that World War III, man. It's already happening. It's already in play. So, you know, we have to watch and pray. But this was the last um, scripture that I wanted to get. Yahweh Rathazah. Yahweh willing. 13, uh, Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believed. See? The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. So the Lord is telling us, hey, look, he, the day is at hand. He's getting ready to come through this place, man, and, and do that thing. But it's still other things to happen. I mean, but we are close, man, you know, so. And the way Esau moving right now, man, because he's coming down with great wrath. The scripture says that, um. He knoweth that he comes down, he's going to come down with great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And that's why you're starting to see a lot of things speed up. And people not paying attention, man. People just out here with their bread and circus. Like, you know, they, like I said, they probably, you know, felt that damn earthquake and went and got a hot dog. Another beer or some shit, man. You know, they don't care. People not paying attention to stuff like this, man. But that's why we, you know, you're going to have it heads up. And all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for giving us his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we know. You know, and can see it in full range, man. But, you know, you have to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Hebrew Israelites, man. That's your biblical nationality. Everything that you see in the earth that's going on right now, all this chaos... Even with the inflation, with the food going up, the gas prices going up, um, you know, all this uh, uh, 
uh, suicides and, and just all this uh, road rage and all kinds of shit going on out here. The Lord is doing that on behalf of you Israelites because he's about to take these people out of power. Because these these nations are our enemies, you know, everywhere that we've been, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, trafficked to basically kidnapped and brought to, you know, these people still have us in captivity to this day. And they're going to have to pay for what they've done to the children of Israel. So the Lord is bringing down their shit right now. They had their chance to reign and they're not going to go past their time period. They're not going to go past the border that the Lord set for them to rule. That shit is about over with for them. So look for more chaos to happen. And things are going to get a lot more rougher. And there are some things that we're going to have to go through, man. So, you know, prepare yourself. You know what I'm saying? Man, keep a mindset that this is not going to be an easy um, cakewalk, man, or walk through the park. You know, it's going to be, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to give us what we need. We're praying for mercy and, and um, you know, um, the endurance to make it through all the things that, that are to come to pass, so to speak, you know. And that's why, you know, with that Luke 21, let's get that real quick. Luke 21 and 36. And this is red letter, so we know the Lord is speaking. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to make it through all these things that shall come to pass and shall stand before the and and to stand before the Son of Man. So this is what you some of you should be praying for. He said to watch and pray, you know, that you may be accounted worthy enough to make it through all the things that's gonna happen, basically. And account it worthy enough to stand before the Son of Man. That's our main goal, you know. So we're you should be praying that. You should definitely should be praying. Yahweh, please help me to be accounted worthy enough. That's that's coming straight out of Yahweh's side's mouth. Why would you not pray what he told you to pray for? Like for real. You need to take that prayer seriously and add it into your prayer on a day-to-day -day basis, man. You know, I pray that a few times a day. That you know, um, because hey, we, we don't know our lot, we don't know where we're gonna be at. You know, but we do know that there's going to be things that's going to happen and we need that we need him to make it through it, you know, because he's the one that's going to be causing it. So, so you definitely want to be under his wing, man, you know, um, getting that, you know, getting that, um, that, that protection from him because everybody going to be running around going crazy, man, in a minute. And, you know, we should be at peace. Those things are going to be going crazy, you know. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Just, you know, wanted to go off into because I know a lot of brothers, they'll see stuff like this and um, they go into it. But it's not as much as a lot of other um, prophecies that we go into. So I like to always report on the earthquakes because it's a part of it, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.